show and writing the show is that it's so specific to this world so we get to show native people and non-native people the reality of this world not just the stereotypes and preconceived notions that we have but also it's so universal these are four young women who are trying to figure out love and confidence i think this season zoe has had more opportunities for like physical comedy so hunched over the moments where, like at the fundraiser, where she's trying to set everything up and she's trying to blow the balloon up. I actually couldn't blow the balloon up. Tracy had to start it for me. And actually, believe it or not, um, as, as uncomfortable or awkward as they can be, everything that I did with Kyle was like, it was really fun to do. Yes, it's supposed to be, I guess, a little sexy, but it's funny. Like Zoe's, Zoe's trying to do her thing. Zoe's trying to be sexy, doesn't know what she's doing. And look at it. Bailey's growth in season three goes from like the bottom rung of despair to a pretty good place. It feels like kind of got it all figured out. Bullseye! But she doesn't. Affairs happen all the time to all types of people. And with Bailey being so down to earth, we wanted to look at some of the reasons that would push somebody like that into such an illicit, dishonest relationship. The writing that Cynthia took Bailey's character on this year is a lot more comedic and I think that layers her into like laughing through all this madness that usually you should be upset about. It really shows that she's getting a little messed up, but it, it's very comedic and fun to play. Anna's constantly trying to find herself. It would be interesting to see how Anna does just on her own. Part of Anna's journey is to learn not only all the beautiful cultural elements, community elements, and, but it, it, it also has to do with the very dark legacy that she comes from. We won't be silenced as our Aboriginal sisters are stolen from us. Last season was a bit of a curveball, so she's just kind of trying to grasp her footing. The character of Caitlin sets out to transform herself, to change her life this season. Mission state. At a time when she feels so alone because she's kind of cut off her relationship with her father, she's, um, her and Butterhead are broken up, she's terminated her pregnancy, and then all of her friends are off in relationships. Fine. Then this single gal is gonna whoop all your She's butts. coming into herself a little <laughs> bit more. She's understanding what she wants out of life. She's understanding what she deserves and is working to, to make the life that she wants happen. There were a few scenes that I really wished I could have been in, but I wasn't in. Basically the scenes, the big group scenes, you know, where all the actors, there's been a couple scenes where they were all in it, but <laughs> Zoe is not there because she's off having sex somewhere. <laughs> I wish we could have had this scene where Caitlyn leaves Butterhead. I would love to have shot her walking out the door and what that exchange would have been. Because Butterhead always gives a good grovel. But like, what is it this time that when he does the grovel thing when she's on her way out, what is it that she's like, no, this is it. Please, I beg you. Some of my favorite moments behind the scenes have been any of my scenes with Ben Gould, who plays Jose, who plays my dad, he's got something to say in between every single take, moments before we roll. It doesn't even matter. And at this point, they're getting so dad jokey that they're like so ridiculous that they're funny. I can't repeat any of his jokes, but they're super <laughs> dirty and so not funny that they're funny. It's always fun working on set when all of us girls are together. It's very rare. And the dynamic that we have, and we all like work off each other, and so that's always a blast. Lots of gossip and girl time. It's a lot of fun. <laughs> oh my God, you're shit got me. <laughs> my favorite moments filming this season were when I had my scenes with Trumpet. No, no. No, I am not this person. We had to fight a lot, and it was like this fighting passion, sexy, romantic thing with our affair, and the scenes were hilarious. Is that a trumpet in your pocket? <laughs> <laughs> I'm in a troop, bitch! I want Caitlyn to just continue growing and understanding that she's worth it. 
I want her to get her footing and be grounded. And I think my hopes for Zoe are to maybe try and have like a real relationship. I would like a little bit of romance for Zoe. She takes a step back from the madness of this like love hunt to just find herself. That's what I would like to see more of. Hello to all of you Mohawk Girls fans. A big thank you, Nyawakoa, to all you guys for tuning in. You've actually got the biggest fan, me. You guys, you're just in there. You, you, you relate to the characters, you're sharing your own stories. We love our fans so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Mwah.